In this video, we're going to be removing this automatic choke and replacing it with a manual choke. If you like my videos, please click like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. First thing is first, we have to remove this black cap. We have two screws on each side of it here that we'll just take out to remove it. Okay, once you have the three screws out, two and three, we should be able to take this cap off. There we go. So you now look at your choke cap and you decide which one that comes with the kit best fits this for a replacement. And it looks like this larger one will be a better fit. And then we won't have to use this one. Okay, and then you put your shaft through the cover and you set your depth. So this grips your, if you can see this, your lever, okay? And then once that grips the lever, you set these pins, one on the outside and there's one on the inside. Okay, and then we'll have your depth for your forks here. Okay, next I took the swivel assembly, put it on the shaft, I found the long bolt and the nut, and put it through the assembly. Next we'll take this machine screw and collar, and we'll put it through the actuator on there. Right through this bottom hole. Well, it should look something like that. Now keep it loose because we're going to end up having the cable end go through that small hole in the collar. Okay? Okay, and once you have it like this, you can go ahead and put this cap back on the carburetor, making sure your forks there catch, or your tang, whatever you want to call it, catches this lever. And use your spring clip and your three mounting bolts. Put it back on the carburetor. Okay, once you have it mounted back on the carburetor, check your linkage here, make sure it actuates the butterfly. So then you know it had caught the tang inside there and the lever. Okay. And it's not binding up against the body inside here. And it's pretty free, so you know we're good for this point. Next thing to do is check out for your uh, choke cable where you want to actually pull it. And I've decided to go under here. It's going to be hard to see, but those two little light holes there are going to be where I mount my bracket. So I drilled a couple holes, came in from the back side here. And you want to drill through your firewall. And we'll just get these screws here and uh, screw them in. Okay, so on the left side of the doghouse, there's the accelerator and brake. And just on the side, that's where I decided to mount it. I had to drill some holes in there and that'll be just fine. Now I also I came up through here for the cable. Went behind the bracket and then drilled a 3 16 hole for the cable to come through. And then we're gonna go right into this area here with this L bracket and this will be essentially a straight shot right to where I need it to go on the lever. Okay, so I got the L bracket mounted into the manifold. I had to remove the manifold bolt, put the bracket in, tighten it back down. May have to, we may have to bend this a bit. I know I had to tweak it a bit just to try to line it up to this here. And then we'll put this clamp on and we'll feed the cable into into here and we'll tighten it down see how it looks okay once you got it mounted in there go ahead and tighten it down and fed it through here the little hole tighten the set screw down on it and then once you have everything positioned of course you're going to want this tightened as well but you can just kind of snug them together and then actuate your choke make sure it closes your butterfly all the way okay and then nothing's interfering with the arm as it's as it's operating 
you want it fully open when it's off. And you pull on it to choke it. It should be all the way down. All right? Well, good deal. I'm going to put it back together and uh, another project done.